outstanding in their fields. It's all about getting back to basics. The kitchen that you see in front of you has been travelling around New Zealand. We've been all the way around the South Island. And uh, we're now, we were in fielding yesterday. We've got a different chef cooking in every single market that they travel to. So, you know, you think it's hard towing a kitchen around New Zealand. Imagine dealing with 18 different chefs in 18 different towns. Oh my God. My name is Chris Fortune. This is the Outstanding in the Fields Kitchen. Jane is my helper today. Jane, is, uh, she's got many, many years of experience running cooking demonstrations. And she's going to put me, correct me where I'm wrong. I've just arrived and we've got this fantastic new season asparagus. Brand new in season. So we're just going to take this beautiful asparagus. <laughs> to me, cooking's all about retaining flavour. Who's that guy, the naked, um, what's his name, the naked chef, Jamie Oliver? Who likes Jamie Oliver? Yeah, he's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a ladies' man, isn't he? This magnificent vegetable, and we're just calling it fennel, but its real name is Florence fennel. It's very, very Italian. It's a beautiful vegetable, and when you cut into it, it's got this beautiful big heart inside it. A really quick way of doing it is peel it with your potato peeler. What we're looking for is nice little shavings in it. Problem is we didn't sort of factor in any time off for Kylie and the team to go and watch the rugby because they're too busy looking after all these cooks. What we're going to do is we're going to put our potato in the middle here. And this is one of those processes where it kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Tea towel, squeeze out all the moisture. And this is the trick, we're going to make rosties. And in about 10 minutes folks we'll have a little tasting. Put a little bit of olive oil in here. You know how the chef always leaves out a little little ingredient and you make this, you see this fantastic product or photo of this glorious food on television and you go to make it and we see this glossy magazine, it's got a beautiful photo in it and you can't figure it out but your dish never looks the same. It never ever comes out the same and uh, it's one of those little secrets, little tricks that chefs do. But see I'm not a chef. I'm a cook, so I'm going to tell you guys what the secret is, okay? I reckon you've got cash on it, credit cards, because then they could pay for the secret. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong, maybe I'm not charging enough. So the secret is, folks, you need to put some of this into it. So whenever you're cooking, you put a little bit of passion into it, a little bit of heart, and that uh, tastes better. It really, really does. We'll put our asparagus and our fennel, a little bit of fennel in there just for a couple of minutes. We just want to blanch that. We're going to add some salt to it. What I do with my asparagus, literally two minutes. So what we're looking for is this beautiful dark green colour. Tip that into there. Turn that off. And we want what's called, this is one of the little secrets that, that cooks use all the time. And it's called, gentleman behind me just said it. Refresh. We've cooked it very, very quickly. We've run it under cold water, so we've stopped the cooking process. Halloumi. So if you could slice them, this is goat's halloumi. It is from Greece, but this halloumi is from, from, from Wanganui. Okay, fennel salad. A little bit of olive oil. Salt, pepper, oops, sorry. A little bit of passion. Our roshtis are coming on. Now this is our asparagus and fennel. We've got a little bit of our Casablanca sauce here. And halloumi is traditionally fried. And you want a nice hot frying pan. Make sure it's golden brown. It's really important that you get your frying pans nice and hot. Take a little bit of this goat setter on top of that. Where was the last place that Outstanding in the Fields Kitchen was? Fielding, there we go, young lady. And this is our macadamia dukkha. And one of the things I love about dukkha is just sprinkle it on top. My name is Chris Fortune. Thank you very much for coming along to the Outstanding in the Fields. We're in Whanganui, of course, one of the best markets in New Zealand. If you'd like to come and have a try, please do so. We've got some little forks 